Okay, we're doing four mini experiments. The first one is the jumping flame trick. Ah, here we go. Um, here you see here. Um, yeah, like that. Uh, I blow out a candle and I stick another flame over the smoke, and it relights from its own ashes like a phoenix. Um, it's because the flame, um, the smoke is flammable too. Yes. And, um, here I'm kind of messing around, doing it backwards, it actually works. Um, <clears throat> so that's it, um, the slow-mo version, and I'll tell, say when you can see the flame actually catching on the fire of the smoke. There, wait, there, right there. The experiment is actually turning a flame green. Uh, here I have, s um, copper sulfate, uh, copper oxide, and... And probably a lot of copper compounds you can find at hardware store. Works, you just put it on there and put it over flame. Most of them aren't flammable, so the flame will turn green. Drats! I put it out. What? This next experiment I mostly explained, uh, it's glow making something glow. Pretty much that, uh, and actually I don't know if you can hear this because I can't hear my microphone. But I just pretty much took a highlighter and I took the nose off. As you can see I'm holding it right there. Um, then I take a test tube and I put it in there. Oh yeah, you need a black light for this, uh. Okay, bring it over to the sink, fill it with water. Okay. Then put something to seal it off so you can shake it up or you can just stir it up. Either works. Uh, you can see me shaking it up. And you'll see why I have that glass there. Um, you can see there. Okay, so I took the cap off, which cap. is the probably not a good idea because it could spill out, but as you can see, it glows. So I'm going to turn the light off and furthermore. Uh, ah, there we go. And uh, it's glowing. I'm going to pour it in here just to show effect. Of, you can see the smoke and how water travels through the glass. It's a perfect demonstration of this. Um, it pretty much makes everything it comes into contact with glow, or at least everything that water stains, like paper. Yes. So yeah, not really any reason for doing that, but it's a pretty cool experiment. Okay, so this experiment uses neodymium magnets, which you can get at the hardware store. Now, you set them in a north-south position. Um, very easy to get, actually. Uh, and then I take a piece of lead. Not all lead works. You gotta see if it's diamagnetic. It means it will go away. And uh, use a magnifying glass because it's very bad. But you place lead on there in a certain position, and it actually levitates. Um, my camera is really bad, so you can't really see it. But in real life, it's awesome. Uh, you'll see me blowing on it slightly, and it's moving like that. You can see. Uh, not really well. Get this better angle from above. Just a little bit, uh, don't know what I'm doing there, uh, so yeah, it uses diamagnetics, which is pretty much something, no matter what, is, will push away from the magnets. Here's the above, yeah, there's the above view, that's the better view. Hope I just pull it off, see the piece of light over there, um. That's that experiment. Watch. <laughs> 